educate one child in Malawi and improve their prospects, teach them how to use computers and change their lives forever. This is a story of a team that came to Malawi to change the lives of an entire generation. It's nine o'clock and the start of a new school day has begun. Here at Chinchiri Secondary School, there's 960 hungry for knowledge pupils and 70 extremely dedicated teachers with some old or even broken computers. Let's go inside. Hey, Chikondi. Hi. Kevin, how are you? I'm good and yourself? Good. Very well, thank, thank you. you. So what IT resources do you have in this school and what are your plans for this room? Okay, we have computers, but our computers are very old and we need some more computers because what we can do with these computers is very limited. So with the difference of the internet, how's that going to affect the school and the pupils? You solve email for the first time. You've never used email and our students are going to search on the Wikipedia and know or new things. So there's a lot to do here and we've only got 48 hours to do it. So we need a team. So we've joined Microsoft and the local Malawi Learning Partnership team to make the difference and to get the job done. The first job for the school is to get some computers. Luckily, we know a fantastic charity, IT Schools Africa, that distribute refurbished computers. And let's hope they've got a lot of them, because we've sent Paul to track them down. So I'm here at the warehouse. We're going to need PCs, screens, and networking equipment to tie all this together. These donated PCs and monitors are exactly what we need for the school at the road. This is one of the pieces that we're going to be taking up. It's got a decent hard drive, very good processor, and more than enough memory for what the kids need to do on them. And we've had all sorts of trouble in previous schools with the existing computers not having enough memory. So this is exactly what we need. In our world, these 512 meg memory sticks are pretty much worthless. But here in Malawi, thanks to the Microsoft employees that donated them, they're priceless because it means the children don't have to use these old three and a half inch floppy drives. Even if we can get these computers up to the school on time, they're going to be worthless unless we can network them together. Hopefully Rich is going to sort that out for us. The building behind me houses a piece of kit that we need to network all the computers together. I'm going to go in there and try and convince them to give it to us. Hi Faisal. Hi, hi Taf, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you too. So uh, we spoke a bit earlier on, um, yes. what, what do you guys do here? We're uh, Access Communications, we're the second national operator in Malawi yep. and we've rolled out a 3G network and we have a massive equipment room downstairs. What do you think you could do to help the project? I think we could do a lot. Um, the easiest thing for us to do would be to put a couple of servers into our uh, equipment room mm -hmm. and load it up with uh, some collaboration software like SharePoint uh, or Microsoft Exchange and some antivirus and then share that remotely with the schools using our high-speed 3G internet access. That's brilliant. Right, we've got the network sorted. Let's get back to the school and see how they're getting on. So we now have all the computers in the computer lab. Next step is get them all networked up together and connect them to the 3G. But sorting out the technology is one challenge. Passing on the knowledge of how to use the technology to the local people is a completely new challenge. So there's a lot of knowledge Bus. transfer to do, Bus. and we only have a day and a half to sort it. Yeah? Bus. Richard just called me, and he said he committed to do four schools instead of three. Can another you believe school? that? Yeah. That's impossible. We don't have the kids, mm -mm. and we don't have enough, enough time to do it. No. What are we going to do now? Okay, so I've left the noise of the technical bill behind me and to be honest, I wasn't really that much help in there. But Microsoft employees have been so generous and have donated a ton of mosquito nets and we've sent John up country to distribute them. Before you help people with computer technology, you have to help people stop dying. Today, with the net distribution done through Microsoft, we have made a big momentum. Helping people stop dying today, here, right now. So we're here, end of day one. The team haven't finished their work, so as I speak, they're working through the night to make sure it's completed. But let's reflect really, we're in Malawi and the people here today have really touched me 
and it's been a very humbling experience. And let's not forget where we are. They've been hammered by AIDS, malaria, and they're just so hungry for knowledge. It really touched me deep down inside just how lucky I am to be part of this experience and to see what we're trying to change here in Malawi. So we have to finish. Look, Vaz, there are two problems. The first is that the machines are not recognizing the network cards. The second is that we don't have enough memory. OK, what else is going to happen? So, Chikwondi, remember 48 hours ago, we're in this very room behind me now. There was no networking, there was no internet, there was no email, there was no communication to the outside world. Well, 40 hours on, let's go inside. Mm -hmm. You close your eyes, mm -hmm. I'm gonna take you in, and I'll show you what we've done. Okay, you keep your eyes closed. I'm gonna show you a new lab in three, two, one. Okay. We have uh, depth of sharing, and the teacher now can actually deliver the lesson here, and you can actually see the desktop of your teacher. So when she's actually moving everything around, showing you stuff, you can see that on your own screens. We even have um, uh, the office capabilities, online sharing, PowerPoint, and finally, we have even painted your blackboard. Yeah? <laughs> This day has been great to me. Fantastic. You've exhorted us from nowhere to up there, <laughs> somewhere. But we still need your assistance. Please pop in as many times as you can to guide us. What I saw here today, it's something that makes all the difference. I think it'll change the way they learn, which is a great thing. And obviously that was really what we're aiming for, to give them more opportunities, help them learn uh, and develop their skills so that they'll have a better life. In Microsoft we say, if you want to change or uh, predict the future, then you better go out there and invent it yourself. So I think we've really done that today. Awesome. <laughs> Oh,